Oi, pessoal. Aqui é a Alexia. Bom, antes de começar, eu queria falar umas coisinhas aqui com vocês. Nós estamos preparando coisas muito bacanas para 2020. Então, a cada mês, nós teremos um challenge diferente, ou seja, um desafio. Pelos 12 meses do ano que vem, nós vamos ter desafios sobre temas específicos que vão te ajudar a melhorar o seu inglês. Por exemplo, nós vamos ter challenges sobre phrasal verbs, sobre prepositions e como aprender gramática sem precisar usar livros didáticos. Vai ser muito legal, a gente está super animado com isso e queremos muito, muito, muito que você participe. Então, se você é sério com o seu inglês, você deve participar dos challenges. Para saber mais sobre esse e muitos outros assuntos, vá lá no inglesnecru.com. Ok, now on with the show. Oi, pessoal. Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite. Bem-vindos a mais um episódio aqui do Inglês de Nicro Rádio. A gente está muito feliz de ter você de novo com a gente. E hoje eu vou falar sobre o Cambly. Claro, né? Óbvio. Você que escuta a gente desde o princípio sabe que o Cambly é o nosso parceiro querido do coração. A gente não larga eles por nada nesse mundo e vice-versa, o que é maravilhoso. E engraçado que essa semana eu tava falando lá com o pessoal do Instagram sobre é, autoconfiança e sobre medo de julgamentos dos outros em relação a gente falar inglês com falantes nativos. E, gente, o que eu falo sempre é, se você não começar a falar e ultrapassar essa barreira, você não vai conseguir ter a sua autoconfiança para encarar qualquer julgamento dos outros, não é mesmo? Então, assim, vá lá no Cambly. Vai no Cambly.com ou no aplicativo do Cambly, coloca o nosso código em minutos grátis, que é Inglês no Cru Podcast. Dessa forma, você vai poder falar com o professor. Eles estão lá 24 horas por dia, de qualquer lugar do mundo, então não vai ter problema de uso horário nem nada. E dessa forma, você vai começar a ultrapassar essa barreira e parar de travar. Lembrando que você tem que começar a fazer, porque nada nesse mundo é de mão beijada, não é mesmo? Então vá lá no Cambly.com ou no aplicativo do Cambly, coloca inglês no micro podcast em minutos grátis. Então é isso. Now, on with the show! Hello, hello, hey, sweet people, and welcome to another episode of Inglês no Cru Haju. My name is Foster, and as always, I am here with... Alexia. Hi. Alexia, how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. I have a puppy to keep an eye on, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, is that official that we are saying publicly that we have a puppy? Yes, it's already on Instagram. His picture and, uh, and everything. It's already on Instagram. I announced it today, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you want to talk about it? We can talk about it. So, we have a puppy and his name is Buddy. Yes. So, we adopted a puppy named Buddy. We've wanted to have a puppy for a long, long time. If you've listened to this show, you know that we love dogs. We love all animals, but especially dogs. So we're super happy new dog parents. Yes, yes, we are. And he is three months old. And he's a Brittany dog, which... A Brittany Spaniel. Yeah, which is his breed. But to be honest, his actual breed is Epagnol Breton. It's a French breed. Yeah. The, a Britney Spaniel would be the way we say that in English. But he is adorable. He is. And it's kind of sad that I'm not there to participate in the first part of Buddy's life. But I think Alexia is taking good care of him. I mean, having a puppy around is great, is amazing. I love it. But at the same time, it's so exhausting because you need to keep an eye on him at any time of the, during any time of the day and see if he's being at the right place, see if he's pooping, see if he's playing, if he has uh, the right kind of energy going out of his body. I mean, 
<sighs> it's a 24 7 yeah 24 7 job it's a job but yeah. i mean so can i just clarify a couple of things just in case that people are just joining so we are recording this on july 7th 2020 in the middle the continuance of a global pandemic and I've been in the U.S. since March, mm -hmm. and I'm not allowed to return back to Portugal. Alexia is not allowed to come here, but we've always wanted a dog. Buddy, the perfect dog candidate, uh, kind of came to us. So now Alexia is taking care of our dog. Yes. Your dad's uh, helping, but you're doing, <laughs> you're doing most mean, of the hard work. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm teaching him. Yes, I know. That's what I'm doing. And it's the hardest part. <laughs> okay. Can I ask a couple of questions about Buddy? Yes, of course. Are you going to teach him commands in English or in Portuguese? In English. Why did you choose English? Um, I think that most of the training classes, more or less, that I watch and everything that I read about is in English, even though I know a very, very good adestrador, dog trainer. Trainer, yeah. Yeah. Um, back in Rio, he is the one who uses like words in English as well, like sit, down, um, stay, speak. I think that right. these words in English are much, much easier than like Santa, deita, espera, ou então para, fica, não sei. I mean... We don't know exactly how dogs use their brains, but it does seem to be logical to imagine that a shorter word with less syllables would be easier for them to really recall. Yeah, yeah. And we are very lucky because this read is so smart. It's extremely smart. But he is stubborn, like not the breed itself, but buddy, it's it's very stubborn. Yeah, he's a stubborn little little pup. Would you like to explain the word stubborn? I think that's a really good word that I don't hear our students using teimoso. too often. Yeah, teimoso. teimoso, teimoso. Like I'm stubborn, you are stubborn, we are all stubborns. <laughs> we are all stubborns. <laughs> <laughs> so stubborn is never in the plural, just stubborn. Okay. Um, but I think that's a great word because it can be used with a negative connotation, but also kind of, it can be a positive thing too. Like, ah, buddy, you're so stubborn, but that's why I love you. you yeah, know? yeah. I've been saying to him, like, você é humilhante e a sua sorte é que você é bonito. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that translates very well in English. But, wow, well, he's so lucky that he's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any things that really surprised you after the first mm, three or four days of taking care of a puppy? Yeah. I mean, he already knows where to pee, like the perfect place to pee. He, he goes there. <laughs> Your dad's couch. <laughs> <laughs> When he's up to, he goes there and do it. But when he's very angry, for example, when I leave the house, the apartment, and he gets very angry that he's only with my dad, he goes to my dad's couch and pee there. Like, you let her go. You shouldn't do that. You know? <laughs> I don't know if it's him being angry at your dad. I think it's probably a little bit of separation anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. And this will be... A uh, big problem with us, uh, actually, the vet told me that they are extremely, extremely lovable and they love people and they love their humans. So the first time that we're going to leave him alone, it's going to be horrible for our apartment. <laughs> yeah, well, that is one of the good things and something we considered very thoughtfully before getting a dog is one of us or your dad or my parents, someone is going to be with Buddy almost 24 hours a day. Yeah. I mean, we are very lucky that we can 
do our jobs from anywhere in the world and our co-working they let uh take dogs there as well they are super okay with that and all the people around us they love dogs and we are very lucky with that and this breed is awesome it's a hunting dog and it's the only one that can point the prey mm -hmm. so he points at its prey yes and right now its prey is our pillow right now so right now he is attacking our pillow yeah they shelly <laughs> But one thing that I really, really tell people that are like first time dog parents get toys that are actually um, making their brain work <laughs> like a yeah. snuffle mat, those kind of balls that has the treats inside and then he has to roll the ball to get it and mm -hmm. not like a stuffed animal, you know, like really, really good toys right when you say make his brain work um i think you're talking about mental stimulation like it stimulates his brain it keeps him active and interested and focused yes yeah one second you guys buddy <laughs> he discovered the the trash today i think he's inside the trash That's What's great. Happened? I think that's a great place to end the episode. Thank you, guys. That's just a little about Buddy. We'll give you a Buddy update once a week, maybe. And yeah, I like to we'll post pictures on Instagram, that kind of thing. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Yes, yes. And welcome to the family, Buddy. We are very happy to have you. Love you, Buddy. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do nosso Inglês de Micro Rádio. Vocês sabem que nós fazemos o possível e impossível para deixar o inglês mais pertinho de vocês, né? E é um prazer imenso que a gente possa estar acompanhando vocês no dia a dia, na rotina e fazer parte da hora do, da cozinha, de faxina, tomar banho, dirigir, o que for. Então eu queria aqui deixar bem claro que se você entrar lá no nosso site inglesnicru.com você vai poder ver um pouco mais do que a gente oferece de produtos além aqui do nosso podcast querido que a gente ama de paixão então vão lá, vão no nosso site nem né? aquela força pra gente procurem saber mais o que a gente está fazendo e é aquilo né galera cada mês nós temos um challenge novo então eu acho que é a hora de aproveitar então é isso. Um beijo grande e a gente se vê no próximo episódio. Bye!